In a major development, Aeronautical Development Establishment has started full-scale prototype fabrication of Gartak Autonomous Stealthy Unmanned Combat Air Vehicle. A retired high-ranking Pakistani Navy official has said, that Indian aircraft carriers will be a primary target for the Pakistani Navy in the event of a conflict with India. India and Singapore have renewed their bilateral agreement on joint military training for the next five years, that will allow both militaries to train together in India. Iran is in talks with Russia to start production of Su-30 and Su-35 fighter jets domestically. The Vice Chief of Indian Navy has said, that the Navy procured MQ-9B drones, as the TAPIS drone performance fell short of the Navy's demanding maritime surveillance requirements. Indian Navy has handed over essential technical spares to Sri Lankan Navy in Colombo. Goa Shipyard Limited held the plate cutting ceremony for its advanced trailing suction hopper dredger project for a valued foreign client. The first Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet has been spotted with the latest Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range, that were ordered in 2022, and have recently started arriving from the US. The Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range is a guidance kit developed by Boeing, that converts unguided bombs into precision guided munitions by incorporating GPS guidance, and significantly increases the range to 80 km, which will allow the Tejas Mark 1A to deliver effective strikes, with minimal exposure to enemy air defense systems. The RDO is spearheading the development of three interceptor missiles for the Irad's extended range air defense system, and officials have said, that one of the standout features of the Irad's is the ability to communicate and coordinate with the Russian S-400 system. The Irad's will be able to exchange real-time data on incoming threats with the S-400 system, and coordinate interceptor launches to maximize efficiency and coverage. If a target is missed by one system, another can take over and neutralize the threat, thus reducing the likelihood of enemy missiles or aircraft penetrating Indian airspace. The DRDO will start fabrication of an extended range variant of the guided Pinaka rocket system by mid-2025, that will have a range of over 120 km, with its first test planned in October 2025. The DRDO is also working on a more ambitious version of the system that will have a range of 400 km, which is currently in the early stages of development, that is expected to be ready for testing by mid-2026. The Indian Air Force is reigniting its quest for mid-air refueling platforms, and instead of six refuelers, the Air Force has now sought to acquire 12 mid-air refuelers. A proposal from a joint venture between Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Israel Aerospace Industries is under consideration, that involves converting older civilian Boeing platforms into mid-air refueling platforms within India. Along with the C-390 medium transport aircraft offer, Embraer has also proposed to develop a dedicated mid-air refueling variant based on the C-390M platform. Today's Top 3 Comments